Buckingham Palace, home to the Queen and one of the most famous landmarks in the world. It sits right at the end of the Mall, a long straight road deliberately coloured red to create the illusion of an enormous red carpet leading to the palace. And to its left is the wonderful St James's Park. The 57 acre park features all the wildlife you'd expect – ducks, swans, geese, lots of pigeons, squirrels, and the occasional fish in its sprawling lake. And if you're lucky, you might just spot an oyster. As an interesting side note, the lake was drained for six years during the First World War to allow the construction of temporary government buildings in its place. But anyway, as typical as the wildlife here may seem, there are a couple of residents that are a little more unusual. The first are easier to hear than they are to see, but if you're patient and you know the right places, it shouldn't be too hard to spot a ring-necked parakeet. That's right, there are wild parrots in London. And tens of thousands of them. He is so cool. As you've probably guessed, they're not native to the UK, and no one's precisely sure how they got here. The urban legend goes that it was Jimi Hendrix who released them, which is almost certainly untrue. The most likely answer is that they've simply just escaped over the years, in large enough numbers to build a sustainable population. Parakeets have been popular pets since Victorian times, and in the century since there have been countless documented escapes, from pet shops, movie studios, and even en masse from aviaries damaged in the Great Storm of 1987. Whilst invasive species like these can often cause problems for native wildlife, there have been no issues so far, although that may change if their numbers significantly increase. Today the parakeets can be found all over Greater London, and are very popular with the more adventurous tourists. But believe it or not, the park has some even more bizarre residents. Lounging lazily on their own private island can be found a squadron of pelicans. Yup, the collective noun for pelican is squadron, as well as a pod of pelicans or a scoop. And each day, shortly before half past two, they jump into the water one by one and swim over to the cottage at the far end of the lake. It's feeding time. So why are these birds here? Pelicans don't just escape from aviaries or pet shops, they're exotic animals, usually only found in either their natural habitat or zoos. While the pelicans were a gift to King Charles II from the Russian ambassador in 1664. And you're probably thinking, grey white pelicans typically have a lifespan of 15 to 25 years. Do you really expect me to believe that these ones are over 350 years old? Of course not, don't be preposterous. It's just become a tradition that's been continued ever since. And like the parrots, the pelicans were a hit with tourists, who gather daily to watch them be fed and marvel at their comical antics. Although on occasion, the laughter turns to horror when they decide to eat a pigeon or duck. Fortunately today, they were satisfied with just their fish, and once again then clumsily stumbled into the water one by one and paddled back to their rock. So there you have it, the Queen's colourful neighbours, and the more noisy ones, although they've been here since before Buckingham Palace was even built. 